Hello there and welcome to Make It With Miss Mandy. Today I'm excited to be showing you how to put together my 3D bakery display case, complete with tiered cakes, little cheesecakes, cookies, and donuts. So go on over to designsbymissmandy.com to download your free template, gather up your supplies, and let's get started. The supplies you'll need for this project are cardstock, about 10 sheets in various colors, Duralar film, hot glue, precision craft glue or a glue stick, a cutting machine or X-Acto knife, and my template which can be found at designsbymissmandy.com. Other optional but helpful supplies include foam tape, decorative ribbon or gems, and a bone folder. If you need help figuring out how to set up the file that includes score lines, be sure to check out the tutorial I made on the subject. All of my bakery display pieces are cut out and I'm ready to start assembling. So first I'm just going to take uh, these two pieces along with these two. I'm doing slightly different colors this time to go along with um, this different paper pattern that I'm using. And then I'm also gonna grab these two uh, Duralar pieces and set the larger one aside and try not to get fingerprints on them if I can help it. So I'm just gonna start taking some glue and attaching these pieces together with these uh, pieces on the outside. These have like little strawberry shapes. These ones are going to go on the outside and then the Duralar pieces are going to attach to the inside. Now that those are assembled, the next thing we're gonna do is grab this piece and we're gonna fold along all of the score lines. So as you may have guessed, this is going to be the front part of our bakery display, but we're not going to attach the Duralar film piece to the inside just yet, only because if we were to attach it right now, uh, you risk the whole thing puckering when you start to turn it. Um, so instead we're going to attach this first and then attach the plastic piece to the inside later. And um, we're just going to attach each of these tabs along the inside edge of each of our side pieces, uh, starting with the top, which is going to be the slightly larger rectangle section, working our way to the bottom, which is going to be this slightly thinner rectangle section. Now that this side is attached, I'm just going to repeat the same process with the opposite side. Now that both sides are attached, we can attach this decorative piece to the front and then the Duralar film piece to the inside. Alright, now that we're done with this piece for now, we're just going to set it aside. And next you're going to grab your two gray pieces. Um, first, we're just going to start by folding these along the score lines. Thank <laughs> you. 
next you're just going to take these tab pieces and you're going to add some glue to them and attach them to the triangular side pieces and I know they're kind of similar but um, the ones with the tabs on the end will be the pieces you want on the outside and these pieces are what you're going to want to glue on the inside. You're going to do that with both of these uh, shelf pieces so they make this like wedge shelf shape. Now that the shelves are assembled, the next thing we're going to do is grab our cookie and donut pieces. So for the cookies, they just need to be assembled by attaching these uh, little scalloped round pieces on top. These are the frosting pieces. I'm going to add uh, some sprinkles and little decorations on top before doing so, and then attach all of them together. Now that all of my cookies are assembled, I'm going to grab these two little trays. These are going to fit right here on this smaller shelf, like so, and they're going to hold three rows of cookies and three rows of donuts. Um, but I don't want to just lay the donuts and cookies down flat, so I'm going to grab some foam tape and attach them on top of one another. So how I'm doing this is basically just taking a couple little squares of foam tape and stacking them on top of one another on the back side of the tray. And then once I have those in place, I'll take one of my cookies and place it at an angle so that it's partially resting on the foam tape and then adding a little bit of hot glue to the bottom in order to keep it at the angle I want it. Then once that glue dries, I just add another square of foam tape to this one and just kind of build off of it and it'll keep your cookies like spaced out and sitting on the tray like you want them to be displayed. So there we go, all of my cookies are in place, and now I'm gonna work on my donuts. With the donuts, unfortunately, because of the hole in the center, I can't use the foam tape quite as well because it'll show through. But I am going to attach the back one the same way that we did uh, with this one, just to get the angle that I want. But then I'm going to just attach the rest with hot glue on the bottom of the tray and just kind of place them at an angle and hold them until they're glued down.
Now that these two trays of delicious looking treats are assembled, all I need to do is attach them to my shelf. Now this shelf is done and we can focus on the desserts we want to put on our middle shelf. And for me, I'm going to be making some little cheesecakes. You can make these into just slices of cake as well. So you can uh, cut these out of whatever color paper you'd like. I did a light brown because like I said, I'm going to make them into cheesecakes. So right now I'm just going to color them so they have some syrup on them and then also color the crust. Now I'm just going to take each of my little cheesecake pieces and fold along the score lines. Next, I'm just going to start gluing these little tabs to the inside so this whole thing forms a little cake. Next, I'm just going to add a little gem on top of each of these, like a little berry, and then I'm going to attach each one to their own individual plate. Now I'm just going to glue these onto the larger shelf and I'm going to stagger them so that I have three in the front and then two in the back. The next thing we're going to do is take our backing piece, this rectangular piece right here with all these slits in it, and we're going to attach our shelves, starting with this top shelf up here, and then this bottom shelf, or middle shelf I should say, uh, right here. These little tabs aren't going to insert into anything, they're just going to fold inward and then you can glue them to your wall. Um, but these tabs will be the ones that get inserted into these slits, and then glue them to the back side. Once those are both attached, we are going to use this decorative piece to cover up the back so that the tabs won't show through. And then we're going to attach the whole thing to the back side of our display case, like that. Thank you. 
Next thing we're going to do is focus on our tiered cakes. So I have those pieces right here. Each one consists of two rectangular pieces and then two circle pieces. So the larger circle is going to be paired with the longer rectangular piece and the smaller circle is going to be paired with the smaller rectangular piece. Um, you can decorate these if you'd like beforehand. My goodness, I have hot glue everywhere. <laughs> um, but basically all we're going to do to assemble these is I'm going to give these a little bit of a curl and fold all of the tabs inward. Then I'm gonna take this tab, add some glue, and attach it to the opposite side to form a ring. Then I can add some glue around here and then attach this circle. Now I'll just repeat that process with these two pieces. With these two pieces done, I'm just going to attach the smaller one on top and I'm just going to make sure that the seams line up in the back so that they can be hidden uh, once it's in the display case. Next, I'm just going to add a little bit of rope around the cake to make it look like it has some frosting decoration. One cake down, two more to go. All three of my little cakes are assembled and now we're going to turn our attention to this piece. First, we're just gonna start by folding along the score lines. Then we're just gonna glue these tabs to the inside walls. And flip this over and glue our cakes on top. With our cakes in place, we're going to add some glue along each of these edges. And then we're going to take this whole thing and slip it right on top. And the last thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of decorative ribbon just along the bottom here for extra cuteness. You did it! You completed this super cute bakery display case. Thanks for watching this video and for crafting along with me. I hope you had a fun time making this project. Don't forget, I always love to see your finished results, so be sure to share them with me on Instagram, tagging at designs by Miss M. And special thanks to my wonderful supporters on Patreon. I couldn't do what I do without you. If you enjoyed this paper craft, please consider becoming a supporter. Not only will you help keep the designs coming, but you can also have a chance to help pick new designs in the future. As a patron, you can even get awesome exclusive content like postcards and enamel pins in the mail. Thanks again for watching and happy crafting!